In the following short video, I'm going to show you how to check your students' grades on Moodle instead of Home Access. First, go to the website online.pendleton.k12.or.us slash phsonline. Make sure you do not include a www. This page is the Pendleton High School online login page. To log in, you'll use the same information you'd normally use on Home Access, same username and password, only on Moodle it needs to be all uppercase. So I'll enter mine. When you log in, you'll go to this page, the Pendleton High School Online Moodle Parent Home Access page. Click on the link that says Moodle Parent Home Access, and you'll go here. Now, eventually, there will be some resources here in addition to what you see right now, um, but that's not all built yet. <laughs> on this page, under the My Students block, simply click on the name of the student whose grades you want to check. It's possible you might have multiple students in, in classes, uh, Moodle classes at Geometry or Algebra 2. Just click on the one that you want to check on. I'm going to click on my son, Anders, and then it'll bring me up to his profile page. On this page, click on the class for which you want to check grades. It'll be either Geometry or Algebra 2. In this case, Geometry. I'm going to click on Geometry. It takes me here. On the Geometry page, or Algebra 2 page if that's the case, click on Activity Reports, the link, and it takes you here. Simply click on Grade, and you're at the grading page, grade report page for your student. This page, there's some important information on this page. At the very top is the current course total grade followed by the assessments category. For geometry, assessments represent 70% of the total grade. For Algebra 2, that'd be slightly different. It'd be 75%. It gives you your overall assessments grade as well as the scores for each individual assessment. In this case, we've only got one, but in the future, more will be added. Beneath that is the practice category. That represents 30% of the grade for geometry, 25% for Algebra 2. Once again, you get the overall category grade for practice as well as all the individual grades for the assignments that we've, we've taken in that category. That list, of course, will grow as, as the year progresses. At the bottom, you'll see another uh, category that says pending assignments not yet due. This is simply a, uh, an area to publish assignments that have been assigned but are but not yet due. So any, any student work on these assignments will be reflected here, but the assignments don't actually enter uh, the gradebook until they are due, in which case they'll either go to the practice category or the assessments category. That's about it. There, there's more you can do with this, but um, I will add that at a later time in some other more detailed videos. For now, this is it. If you have any further questions, of course, you can contact me, but probably the best resource would actually be your student. They know this, this Moodle system really well, and they could certainly help you out with this. Thank you.